The French, they have made some really weird and cool slash quirky stuff over the years and specifically when it comes to cars they have made some pretty crazy things and it can be pretty much anything but what cool and best hatchbacks have they ever made? Strap in and let's find out. Up first is the Peugeot 205 GTI, one of the most iconic French hatchbacks to come out of France and it's probably one of my favourites in fact. Now this is really rare and very expensive now but they've had the heritage that came all the way back from the Africa 508 where they were used as some really good cars back then. Now it has a 128 mile an hour, 126 horsepower engine which doesn't sound fast but trust me that's enough in a very lightweight car that's probably only 875 kilograms. The car itself is actually a really rare car to find in the UK, like I said, and you'll know it's a GTI because it has the flares on the side, the special wheels, and unlike the standard version, they are pretty flared. So for £23,000 at minimum, that's how much they're costing. It's the icon of icons, it is the Renault 5. I have picked this one for my all-time favourite hatchback that's come out of France because, let's be honest, the Renault 5 is very much, even in standard form, underrated. And you just do never see any of these. Now, obviously, the Maxi and the Turbo, give it, as we've just seen there, are super expensive, which I'll show you in a minute. But here you can actually see a pretty standard one, more of a flared special edition one that they did them in different versions and you can get them in the UK as automatics. The engine came with a pretty basic and boring 160, but that was in the turbo. So in the standard, it was below 100 and pretty slow. But I actually really like them. They're still quite unique and different. They're just still very French as well. And I do plan on picking one up myself. The Maxi was super, super cool. And some of the turbos go for 50K now. If you want a normal one though, you can see here just under 3K. The Citroen Saxo, one of the most popular little hatchbacks we got in the UK from France and they created from 1996 to 2004. Now this wasn't a very long time in production and it's a shame because they never actually made another version or alliteration again and this is because they were very popular to mod, easy to buy, pretty cheap and to be honest they were pretty cool as well, they were really fast especially if you bought the VTR. And they came in a range of different colours, so it was easy to appeal to the younger generation who were getting into cars in the late 90s. And they looked a bit like this. And also with Max Power, it was a really popular era. So the Saxo and Max Power just came at the right time because Max Power started in around the end of the 90s. Now, yes, they were really basic, but that just meant you had really cheap options to do things with it. But the engine in a standard one was typically a pretty underpowered 100,000 cc. So really cheap on insurance as well. I actually really like these and they don't really see any of them anymore but given their shelf life they weren't very alarm for very long but you can get one for two thousand to three thousand pounds up next arguably one of the greatest hatchbacks from france on this list and it is the renault clio v6 sport now if you're not familiar with the renault clio v6 sport you might just think this is someone who's done a dodgy modded job perhaps but no this is actually a very very special edition car that was created by renault themselves from a standard renault clio now it has a rear mid-engined rear wheel drive layout and it is based on the obviously the Renault Clio from 2001. Now, what's different is it has the V6 engine and it was almost created from the Renault F1 teams and developed from some of their systems and technology back in the day. And what's made this very rare is that there isn't a specific number on these, but they aren't very well uh, known in the UK. So a lot of people who have them are pretty much collectors. And the V6, of course, makes it all the more difference in that engine and driving experience. If you ever see one, you're very lucky because Frankly, I've never seen one. I'd love to see just that body kit on the road. It just its presence is crazy, despite being a 20-year-old car now. So, what's great about the V6 is that there aren't many of them, and a lot of them go for almost fifty thousand pounds. Finally, it's another Renault, and yes, it is the Megane. I had to go for the Megane after looking at several of the options because, frankly, the Megane is an amazing car. Now, they have made several versions. Now, this is the RS 300, but they have made the older versions. You know from the original F1 teams that were designed and developed and I think they were really good cars and it was hard to really choose but I've gone for the more modern one and the reason for this is because it's been so well developed over those last 20 years that the Megane now is actually a well worthy hot hatch and it's the most modern on this list. And what I really like about this is that it's just very unique and again not many people really have one. It's a 1.8 litre 296 horsepower engine and it delivers exactly what you'd expect. Now, I don't like the exterior in the sense that that middle screen doesn't look great, but it does sound good on this video. And it's got a 0 to 60 time of 5.7 seconds. And it's pretty based for, you know, it's really well made for car enthusiasts. And I think that's got to be applauded because most cars nowadays really aren't. 
if you want one, the prices of these are fairly expensive because they're quite new, some of them up to £30,000. Carrying on the trend of honourable mentions, I thought it was fair to include a few more that I couldn't fit in the video, and they are the Peugeot 106 Rally, which is actually a really unique flavour version of the 106. It's a Citroen DS3, which is the racing version of the DS3, and it didn't really get a mention for many Citroens here. And also the Citroen AX, which is a sporty pocket rocket from the 80s, which definitely deserves a mention. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below and let me know what you thought. I'm making a lot more car content for all car enthusiasts, so you won't want to miss out. If you want to join me, I've hit over 500 subscribers now and we are growing. See you in the next one.